Hello friends, good morning. In the second unit that is over voltages in power system, so far I have explained what is over voltage, how the over voltages are classified. They are classified as lightning over voltage and switching over voltage. Then I had explained the lightning mechanism, types of lightning strokes, what is the nature of lightning over voltage and current and what is the effect of lightning over voltage on power system. The crux is when power system is affected by the lightning over voltage that is when lightning over voltage strikes the power system traveling waves of very high voltage amplitude are established in both the directions. The power system insulators as well as insulation of the power system equipment is not designed to sustain these high voltages. Therefore, if lightning over voltage or the traveling waves which are established due to lightning over voltage strike the power system insulator or the equipment insulation, then they will be damaged. So, costly electrical installations are damaged and continuity of the power system, continuity of the power to the customers is interrupted. Therefore, protection against lightning or voltages is necessary. This protection is divided into three categories. Number one, protection of substations and switch yards against direct lightning or voltages. Second, protection of transmission line against direct lightning or voltages. And third is protection of power system equipment from lightning waves. We are not considering the protection of generating stations because they are enclosed. So the stations which are exposed to the atmosphere, transmission line, distribution line, for those we have to consider the protection against direct lightning over voltages, direct lightning strikes. So first I will discuss the protection of substations and switch yard against direct lightning over voltages, against, against direct strokes. The difference between switch yard and substation. Switch yard is just outside the power station. So in that step of transformer is there. So if it is switch yard, then on this side there will be power station, generator will be connected here, then there will be transformer and other equipments, then it will be connected to the transmission system, transmission line will be there. If it is substation, then it will receive power from the transmission lines and then it will supply the power to the distribution lines. So here there will be step down transformer. That is the so called difference between switch yard and the substations. So first I will discuss the protection of switch yard and substations against direct lightning strokes. So this requires three steps. Number one, intersection of the strokes Number two, conduction of the stroke current. And number three, dissipation of the stroke energy. First step, interception of the stroke. You must have visited the substations or at least you must have observed the substation or switch yard. So in substation and switch yard, there are various power system equipment like transformers, CT, PT, lightning arresters, lightning surge absorbers, then there will be circuit breakers, then there may be relays, isolators and so on. So suppose this is the substation or switch yard. So intersection of the stroke means we want the object which should intercept or attract the lightning stroke so that the lightning discharge is on that object rather than on the substation or power system equipment. So what we have to do? See, the stroke is always on the topmost object above the earth. So we install these metallic objects connected to the ground and they are having sufficient height than the power system equipment. So what will happen? If there is like cloud over this, then these objects will attract that cloud and they will discharge the lightning over voltage. So either metallic objects, tall metallic objects are inserted or installed at regular intervals 
in the power station on the substation or entire substation is provided with the electrostatic shielding that is electrostatic shielding above the power system equipments installed at sufficient height and covering the entire substation or switch yard so they will intercept or attract the tightening stroke second is conduction of the stroke current conduction of the stroke current means whatever discharge current is there that should flow through that object only it should not flow through any other object so these metallic objects or electrostatic shielding should have minimum resistance so that the stroke current prefers this path only and last one is dissipation of the energy so this current is very high so we require to dissipate that energy so here we have to connect something that is resistance to dissipate that energy so that nothing unwanted should happen so these three steps are there interception of the stroke conduction of the stroke current and dissipation of the stroke energy so so crux is substations and switch yard are provided with either electrostatic shielding or they are provided with tall metallic objects metallic poles to attract the lightning strokes in this way substations and switch yards are protected against direct lightning strokes in my next class i will explain the protection of transmission lines and distribution lines against direct lightning strokes if you feel this lecture useful then please like it subscribe to my channel for upcoming videos on high voltage engineering and power system protection ask your friends colleagues and juniors to subscribe to my channel if you want to make efficient and effective use of the time then please read my book on time management the link is given in the description box i have launched one course the title is boost your learning and performance the course is available on udemy at nominal charges the course is very useful for the students who are preparing for competitive and entrance exams thank you